Yes, because she really, she really has cared for Steerforth all these years. And neither don't tell us. But, so that's why she, she gets so angry at David and said, you introduce them. But notice that David is probably finally beginning to see. They call, they call Peggy that family, rude and rough. They're very good. They're really good, fine people. Yeah. Uh, the people who are not good, he finally sees his friend Steerforth is not a good person. Mm -hmm. He has done, he has not only has deceived yeah. uh, the peg, the family, and he has taken this girl away. Okay. When I want to in the house, I will take back those are to look at the dog. The friend was with and empty, and I could see her. Clearly, it it looked very happy. Okay. So thank you. All right. Well, have, can I continue, please? So Mr. Peter started on his journey. He went away to look for a new way. I felt very sorry for him, but I was not always sad. I saw Mr. Spengo every day, each time. I saw him. I talked about all that day. One day he said, Do you remember my daughter, Mr. Copperfield, don't you? Remember her? How could I forget her? But I always replied, Miss Dora, yes, was. She wants to have a party. He said, Do you like parties? Can you come? Could I go? Mrs. Spenrow did not need to act. But he did not know this, and I did not tell him. Yes, Mr. Spengo, I said, you are very kind. When is the party? It's next week, he said, and he told me the day. You won't forget, will you? No, I promise. No, I won't forget. Dora wrote to me too. Please come, the writer said. I carry it near to my heart. The, the week passed very slowly, but the day came in the end. I bought new clothes and some flowers for Dora. Then I went to her house. She was sitting in the garden with her friend, Julia Mills. Jim, the little dog, was there too. I was very pleased that Miss Murstone was not outside. Dora liked the flowers. I gave her. She showed them to Jim. Smell this flower, Jim. She said, aren't they pretty? Jim did them and broke some in half. Don't do that, Jim, Dora cried. Don't hurt the beautiful flowers. Mr. Copperfield bought them. At least Dora liked my flowers. Perhaps she likes me too. I thought happily, but I did not say it.